Today we're going to show you a video of how we uh, finish this deck. I have a wild gazelle. Yeah, I guess Jenna's freezing. So she's <laughs> Charlie's got new shoes. Green. <laughs> I got my doll. Color changes. It na, turns na, green na, or yellow. Na, 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 na. Oh, Tuck, you comfortable? Yes. All right, guys, we hope you like this video. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe below. So here's our deck. A little small deck. But you can see the railings. They're not very sturdy. So what we're gonna do is we got some deck boards from a previous job. There and over here we got some 16 footers. Put a new deck down, do brand new railings. Get that all fixed up. There's the uh, 16 footers. We're doing the Trex groove, select grooved uh, saddle is the color. You can see the joister still in plenty good shape. So we're gonna leave those and just do new deck boards and new railings and maybe a skirt. Oh, there's a bird up in there. Well, that's perfect for me wanting to work on this. Probably gonna be pissed when I tear the deck boards off. That's interesting. Well, yeah, I'd take off all these railings and take off the deck boards. And down here we got some five foot, six foot off all pieces. So should be able to get a, a deck out of uh, leftover boards for relatively inexpensive. Okay, so I'm out here taking the deck down. I'm gonna do the rails first and then I'll start taking off the boards. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking the boards off and I'm taking the nails out. You can see the clubhouse down there at the behind the deck on the other side of where I'm standing. I'm gonna take some of the boards and reuse them to enclose that clubhouse, mostly the deck boards and maybe some of the other ones. So. Just taking the nails out now as I go in case I do want to use those boards for something else. Here's the uh, kids wanting to come out and see what I'm doing. And of course the boys want to come out there with no railing and Tucker's asking me a million questions of, why do you want to take that off? What are you doing? Can I come out? Okay, I'm going to come out anyway. <laughs> so uh, basically that's our life. this thing works? Yep. It's got two claws. Ah, Daddy. Put it under here. Stay back, okay? Daddy, I don't know who's
cut it a little bit long so it hangs over. And then I'll have a seven foot board left. That's where I have a couple lines in the back. But all right, so what you want to do, make sure your blade goes deep enough, but you also don't want it to go too deep. I'll raise it up a little bit. the outside board on the outside of the deck. Strip this board down so that this is flush and doesn't have that groove. All right, now when you're cutting these deck boards, you should use a chop saw. Uh, I don't have one with me, but that'll be fine. Using my circular saw here, and I have the blade tilted at 3%, so three degrees. So it'll cut a slight angle on the board like this. This is exaggerated. And then the tops will go tighter together. What you get when you're doing a circular saw.
Okay, I got these rails up and these rails. You can see how these things work. These spindles go up here and then you got these little clips that go on the side. You put the screw in right here. Then on the other side there's two screws. Now, I wasn't going to put these on because they're about $10 a piece. 100, 100 bucks to do this deck. Uh, but dad had them and he said these will warp if they're connected he doesn't know why they just always do every project so he gave me these now what I plan to do is cut cut these off here and I'll put like a cap I'll cut this one off and put a cap, but this one's going to go flush, 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 and I'm going to put a shelf out here for drinks. And then this side's not done yet. So I got this half of the deck finished, put the rails up, then I'm going to move this grill over there, and then I can take off this part of the deck, finish it, and then do this rail across here. So these uh, spindles that go on here, the way that they work, you cut your board to the length you need. Then you put these on and there's a screw down inside there. So you put the bottom one on, then you put the spindles in, then you very carefully put the top one in. Pretty hard to do. What I'm doing out here is connected up the rails. I'm gonna do a bar here. So this will come back and then there'll be a third one out here. And then you'll be able to have like maybe some benches, but you'll have a little table instead of just a top rail. But it'll be three five and a half inch boards. Third one out here. But this is just a little frame that I built and then I might have some connector pieces to the 4x4 so it's not so much weight pushing out here on the end. This is from underneath. Screw that screw in. Alright, so I'm headed to Lowe's. I was uh, four deck boards short. Had to order them a couple weeks ago. It's only taken two weeks. And because uh, everything's coming in faster, and he was right. So it wasn't supposed to come till April 20th. Um, today's the 16th. So came in two days ago, a little bit early. Um, but I'm heading there this morning. I wanted to try and get there at 6 a.m. before it starts getting too busy because uh, all the nuts come out after a while and you got to wait in line to get in stores. But 
running a little bit late. I'll get there about 7 a.m. I got a meeting this morning, so I gotta get this picked up, put on the trailer, and then head back home and try and get the deck finished up in the next couple nights. All right, now I'm home, but here's how I had to load it up. Four deck boards, 12 foot long, trailer's only 10 foot. I just put them over the middle, strap them up. All right, I got the boards home. I'm gonna cut these down to nine foot. You order them either in 12 foot sections or 16 foot sections. I'm gonna cut these down to nine foot so that I can get them on the deck and don't have a ton of off fall before I take them to the backyard. Four boards that I just cut are going to go on here. Um, I, ha I didn't have this section finished, but we needed to come in and out of the door for the grill. So I put some boards down temporarily, but these short ones are going to come out and I'll, I'll replace those with the new ones. Do not. I don't push this off the balcony. Okay, now I'm going to be putting down this board. So this is the tool that I'm using, um, camo. You can see there's two notches. The board goes in here. So this will sandwich the board. Then inside this tool on both sides goes the screw. Camo screws. And they have a thread going one direction here. And then on this side it's going the other way so that it doesn't back out. It's a good thing about screws. Uh, but this will go down inside here like that. And it'll go down inside these grooves so that the it's a hidden fastener system. It won't it won't show on the top of the deck board. You can basically walk barefooted. So you get the tool in. This this little thing that sticks down on the tool will also give you your spacing. So your boards are evenly spaced. It's it's uh almost a perfect little system so you take the screws put them in that's uh tucker in the background he doesn't really ever shut up put your screws in start with the outside screw because that's going to push the board into this board a little bit closer if you start over here that screw could slightly pull the board this way and it'll be away from from the other board so pretty neat little tool you just squeeze this and it pulls that out and then when you get down on the board you let go and it clamps onto it gets a special bit you can see this bit 
has a flat spot there and it's got a special end. So what happens when you're going in and you're screwing your screw in, it'll stop right there. It won't go any deeper. So it won't take the screw too deep to where you, uh, it doesn't actually hold the board. So you screw in, it goes in here and then stops at that point. It won't go any deeper and you can see there where it's uh, not letting the screw go all the way deep. But you, it goes in and then it stops right there. I'll put this last one in. You can see how these boards are going a little long. I'll come back through here with a saw and cut these all at one time and it'll be a straight line. If I try and measure it and cut it all to the exact length, those boards will be wavy and it, I could probably do a decent job, but it's way easier to cut them a little bit long, throw a chalk line down and come back and cut these off all in one swipe. Right here, I have a seam, uh, just because I got the boards for, um, you know, pretty cheap. We didn't get to choose all the lengths. So anywhere, anytime that there's a seam, I always start here just so I can get it perfect on here, get this one lined up perfect. If I start out there and come back and it doesn't line up on this board perfectly, um, I'll regret it. So I always start here where the seam is. I'll do this first one. Now here, instead of just putting two screws in, you're going to have to put four. So you're going to have to kind of get it close to the edge here, which is not always super easy to do. But you get that on there to where it's, you know, it's going to catch that board, but it's not going to be off the side of the deck. this one on now I always hold down pretty hard on these just so it doesn't walk and separate pretty good seam can't really uh, see it that much, but it is there. But it is what it is. Okay, finally finished with the deck. Got this side rail in. Got our old grill. Man, I'd love to get a new one, but they're like $800. Comes around. So 
so it's not big but nice to have a deck that's not falling over Don't cry, why don't you die?